So there are 55 plus unique items within Diablo 4, some tied to individual classes, others universal. What you probably didn't know is there are certain enemy types within this game that give you increased drop chances. Today guys we check out all end game uniques and the best places to farm them. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe. Now the best place to farm any certain item would no doubt be a nightmare dungeon with that magic find modifier on. This increases those loot drop chances. So if you are lucky enough to land this on a nightmare dungeon, take advantage of it. Now it is important to note jewelry like rings and amulets do not currently have any increased drop chances from any specific enemy. So keep that in mind. Okay, so we will start with the universal uniques. So these are items that can drop and work on all character classes. These include the six ultra rare uber uniques, but they too do have increased drop chances from certain enemies. Okay, so let's start and start off with the Andreal's Visage. Now, keep in mind, guys, this is an ultra rare item. This item has dropped for maybe a couple people in the world. It's world tier four only, and it only drops from enemies, monster levels of 85 plus. So keep that in mind. You can be a lower level, but if you're fighting against enemies that are 85 plus, you still have that rare chance of this dropping for you. Okay, so this item has increased drop chances from cultists and cannibals. Okay, so the best cultist dungeons, in my opinion, we have Conclave, great, great dungeon. We have the Serpent's Lair, and we have the Shadowed Plunge. All three of these dungeons will give you multiple cultist enemies. I mean, again, this item's super, super rare. You're going to be grinding your ass off to try and get this one, but those are the dungeons, in my opinion, to best farm for this. Dungeons which feature those cannibals, I go with the Gulran Slums, Earthen Wound, and the Car Now House. These are three great dungeons too, which have plenty of those cannibal type enemies within them. So yes, guys, if this is the item you're chasing, good luck with that one. Next up guys, we have another ultra rare item, the Doombringer. Again guys, I don't know if anyone in the world has even had this one drop yet. It's a world tier 4 only, monster level needs to be at 85 plus only. Okay, so increased drop chances from snakes, skeletons and beasts. So there's quite a few enemies you can farm for this one, but hey again, getting this drop best of luck to you okay so skeleton dungeons i go with zenith uh, the core dragon barracks and demon's wake demon's wake's my favorite here but again all three of these are great great dungeons with plenty of those skeleton enemies within them snake dungeons we have the serpent's lair the witch water and shadowed plunge there are a few others but these are my three main ones i would farm for this but hey and then we have beasts okay so blind bells is definite alderwood is great too Morewood, alders cave and haunted refuge all of these dungeons are absolutely great i mean i can't tell you how many times i farmed all of these multiple times for enemies way over level 85 i haven't had a sniff of this doom bringer i mean it is that rare guys best of luck in trying to get this one next up guys we have the fist of fate this one isn't so rare so this one has increased drop chance from spider enemies. Okay, so the dungeons you want to be farming here. So we have the blind burrows, the Gurun canals, the whispering pines, and the champion's demise. All four of them have tons of spider enemies within them. Pick and choose guys, farm away. Do what you gotta do. So next up guys, we have the Harley Quinn crest. Another ultra rare item i think there's three people four people in the world now that may have this maybe a couple more again ultra rare world tier 4 only monster level again is to be at 85 plus only okay so it has increased drop chances from courtists and cannibals okay so courtist dungeons conclave serpent's lair and shadow plunge three great great dungeons for this enemy type cannibal dungeons we have Gulran slums Earth and Wound and Carnal House. Again, three more great dungeons for that cannibal enemy type. Again, though, this is an ultra rare item, so good luck in chasing this one. Next up, guys, we have the Penitent Greaves. This has an increased drop chance from drowned 
enemies okay so the haunted refuge is a great dungeon the dead man's dredge great dungeon the putrid aquifer and the vault of the forsaken these are all great dungeons where you should experience and come across many of that drowned enemy type okay so next up guys we have the razor plate so this has increased drop chances with beasts and spiders so are those beast dungeons blind burrows alderwood moorwood Alder's Cave and Haunted Refuge. Four amazing dungeons, plenty of beasts within these, so get farming them. Spider Dungeons, we have the Blind Burrows, the Guru Run Canals, the Whispering Pines, and the Champion's Demise. Again, another four incredible dungeons, just to farm either way. If you can land these with that Magic Find modifier on, your chances are gonna absolutely drastically increase. But yes, do what you gotta do, guys. Go get this thing. Next up guys we have the Temerity, this also drops from those drowned enemy types, again best dungeons for these in my opinion, Haunted Refuge, Dead Man's Dredge, The Putrid Aquifer and The Vault of the Forsaken, try these out guys and try your luck. Next up guys we have the Butcher's Cleaver, okay so this drops from fallen enemies, goatmen and cannibals but it does have increased chances for those fallen enemies okay so fallen dungeons we have the ancient's lament demon's wake and conclave if i was farming this one and this is the item i was chasing i'd probably pick one of those dungeons but again it also drops from goatmen and cannibals so goatmen dungeons we have champion's demise mercy's reach shifter ruins and a hoarfrost demise for great dungeons for goatmen just pick one farm away or cannibal dungeons guys, we have the Gulran Slums, the Earthen Wound and Carnal House. Again, three more great dungeons, but do what you gotta do. Again though, if I was farming this, I'd pick one of the fallen dungeons because again, it's got increased drop chances from that fallen enemy. So I'd go with either Ancient's Lament, Demon's Wake or Conclave. Okay, so lastly today guys, we have the Grandfather. This is another ultra rare item. World tier 4, monster level needs to be 85 plus only okay so this one has increased drop chances from vampires and spiders okay so there's vampire dungeons we've got zenith core dragon barracks and the heathens keep these are three decent dungeons i'm not gonna lie but if i was gonna farm this one i'd pick spider enemies and the spider dungeons you want to be well concentrating on the blind burrows the guru run canals the whispering pines and the champions demise these all have massive amounts of spider enemies within them so if this is one you want to farm do what you gotta do try and get the modifier of magic find on and farm away guys but good luck in trying to get the grandfather i think under 10 people in the world have got this thing so yes Now keep in mind, after the patch of 1.0.4, all unique items, including the six uber uniques, can drop from those high tide chests. So when that's about, guys, you may as well take advantage of it. Okay, so next up, guys, we have the Necromancer only unique items. Okay, so we're going to start with the Black River. This has increased drop chances from that drowned enemy type. So dungeons which offer plenty of these enemies, we have the Haunted Refuge, the Dead Man's Dredge, the Putrid Aquifer and the Vault of the Forsaken. I'd pick the Haunted Refuge of the best of the four, but hey, do what you gotta do, all are absolutely great and will give you increased chances. Next up guys, we have the Blood Artisan's Cress. This has increased drop chances from beasts and spiders. So dungeons with plenty of beasts, in we have Blind Burrows, Alderwood, Moorwood, Alder's Cave and the Haunted Refuge. Spider Dungeons, we have the Blind Burrows, the Guru Run Canals, the Whispering Pines and the Champion's Demise. Or four great dungeons there. But if I were you, I'd try and land yourself Blind Burrows here because it has both spiders and beasts within it. So it just doubles your chances really. Okay, so next up guys, we have the Bloodless Scream. Now this doesn't actually have increased drop odds from any specific enemy type due to the research I've been doing. If you know otherwise, please let me know down below. I actually had this real early on in um, probably world tier two or three, I had this drop for me, like when I was like a level 35 or 40. This is definitely one of the more common ones, but I cannot remember where it dropped. 
Next up, guys, we have the Deathless Visage. This has increased drop chances from cultists and cannibals. Okay, so those cannibal dungeons, we have Gulgan, Slums, Earth and Wound, and the Car now House. Cultist dungeons, we have the Conclave, Serpent's Lair, and the Shadow Plunge. Six dungeons, though, in my opinion, are great for these enemy types. So do what you gotta do, guys, and hopefully you get lucky. Next up, people, we have the Greaves of the Empty Tomb. This has increased drop chances from that drowned enemy type. Okay, so great dungeons for these. We have Haunted Refuge, Dead Man's Dredge, the Putrid Aquifier, and the Vault of the Forsaken. Again, here, I'd pick the Haunted Refuge if I could, but any of these four are great for this enemy type. And lastly, guys, on the Necromancer, we have the Howl from below. This has increased drop chances from those spiders. Spider dungeons, we have the Blind Burrows, the Gurun Canals, the Whispering Pines, and the Champion's Demise. All are absolutely great dungeons, filled with that spider enemy type. But I've had to pick one here, definitely the Blind Burrows. Absolutely incredible dungeon. Okay, so next up guys, we have the Druid only unique items. Okay, so we're going to start with the Great Staff of the Crone. This one has increased drop chances from Fallen Enemies and Goldman Enemies. So Fallen Enemy Dungeons, I recommend you farming for this one. We have the Ancient's Lament, the Demon's Wake and the Conclave. The Demon's Wake is definitely my favourite of the three, but all three will offer plenty of those Fallen Enemies for you. Okay, so Goldman Dungeons, we have the Champion's Demise, the Mercy's Reach, the Shifter Ruins and the Hoarfrost Demise. These again guys are great great dungeons. If I had to pick one though, it would definitely be the Champion's Demise in a team. But do what you gotta do people. Okay so next up guys we have the Incitable Fury. This one has increased drop chances from Beasts and Spiders. So Beast Dungeons you definitely want to be farming. We have the Blind Burrows, Alderwood, Moorwood, Alder's Cave and the Haunted Refuge. Spider Dungeons, we have the Blind Burrows, the Gurun Canals, the Whispering Pines and the Champion's Demise. Theoretically guys, you'd only really want to be farming the Blind Burrows here if you can land a Nightmare version of this because it has both beasts and spiders. But any of the dungeons I have mentioned guys will give you increased drop chances for this item when killing specific beasts and spiders. Okay, so next up guys, we have the Mad Wolf's Glee. Again, Beasts and Spiders. Beast Dungeons, Blind Burrows, Alderwood, Moorwood, Alder's Cave and Haunted Refuge. These you should definitely be farming if you want increased drop chances at this item. Spider Dungeons, we have the Blind Burrows, the Gurun Canals, the Whispering Pines and the Champion's Demise. Again, Blind Burrows is definitely the number one here, but do what you gotta do guys. You may get lucky with any of the others here. Okay, so next up guys, we have the Storm's Companion. This has increased drop chances from them drowned enemy types. Okay, so Haunted Refuge is a great dungeon, Dead Man's Dredge, the Putrid Aquifier, and the Vault of the Forsaken. All four of these dungeons have increased amounts of drowned enemies, so these you should definitely be looking for. Next up guys, we have the Tempest Roar. This has increased drop chances from cultists and cannibal enemy types. Okay, so cannibal dungeons, you have the Gulran Slums, the Earthen Wound, and the Carnal House. Cultist dungeons, we have Conclave, Serpent's Lair, and the Shadowed Plunge. Those are the ones I recommend you farming to try and get this Tempest Roar. Next up guys, we have the Visalis Prayer. This has increased drop chances again from cultists and cannibals. Again, cannibal dungeons with plenty of cultists in, Gulran Slums, the Earthen Wound, and the Carnal House. Uh, dungeons with plenty of cultists in, we have the Conclave, Serpent's Lair and the Shadowed Plunge. Six great dungeons there guys which definitely will increase your chances of getting this item to drop for you. Okay so lastly guys with the Waxing Gibus, I think that's pronounced Gibus, I'm not even sure. This has increased drop chances from Fallen and Goldman. So Fallen Dungeons, we have Demon's Wake, Conclave and Ancient's Lament. Demon's Wake's definitely my favourite there but all are great. And Goldman Dungeons, we have the Champion's Demise, Mercy's Reach, the Shift of Ruins and the Hoarfrost Demise. Here guys, Champion's Demise is definitely my best but any one of these four will help offer you plenty of Goldman enemies.
Okay, so next up, guys, we have the Sorcerer Unique Items. Okay, so let's get into it. The Esu's Heirloom. This has increased drop chances from that drowned enemy type. So the specific dungeons, I recommend you farming for these. Uh, we have the Haunted Refuge, the Dead Man's Dredge, the Putrid Aquifier, and the Vault of the Forsaken. These four dungeons will give you multiple options at this enemy type. So we'll get farming, guys. Next up, people, we have the Flame Scar. This has increased drop chances from ghosts and vampires. Okay, so those ghost dungeons I'd look out for, Earthen Wounds, the Onyx Hold, Sunken Ruins, and the Lost Archives. These are four great dungeons. Probably Onyx Hold is my favorite here, but either or, guys, do what you gotta do. Vampire dungeons, we have Zenith, we have Core Dragon Barracks, and we have the Heathen's Keep. Again, three great, great dungeons, plenty of vampires within these. So do what you gotta do, people. Okay, so next up, people, we have the Gloves of the Illuminator. This has increased drop chances from spider enemies. Spider dungeons, we have the Blind Burrows, the Guru Run Canals, the Whispering Pines, and the Champion's Demise. All great, great dungeons. Plenty of spiders within these, so pick one. Nightmare Dungeon is hopefully you get that Magic Fire modifier on it, and I'll good luck to you in trying to get this one. Next up guys, we have the Ice Heart Braze. This has increased drop chances from them drowned enemy types. So dungeons here, you want to look for the Haunted Refuge, the Dead Man's Dredge, the Putrid Aquifier, and the Vault of the Forsaken. Plenty of drowned enemies within these dungeons, people. Okay, so next up guys, we have the Raiment of the Infinite. This has increased drop chances from beasts and spirits. Spiders. So beast dungeons, we have Blind Burrows, Alderwood, Moorwood, Alder's Cave and the Haunted Refuge. Four great, great dungeons there. Spider dungeons, we have the Blind Burrows, the Guru Run Canals, the Whispering Pines and the Champion's Demise. So it makes sense guys that you'd farm the Blind Burrows because this has both beasts and spiders within. So if you can land this with that Nightmare version, with that Magic Fire modifier on, this would be your best bet. Next up guys, we have the Staff of the Endless Rage. This has increased drop chances from Fallen and Goatman enemy types. So Fallen Dungeons, we have Demon's Wake, Conclave and the Ancient's Lament. Goatman Dungeons, we have the Champion's Demise, Mercy's Reach, Shifter Ruins and the Hawthros Demise. Again, some great dungeons for you to farm there. Lastly guys, we have the Staff of the Lamb Esson. This has an increased drop chance from dropping from Fallen and Gautman enemies yet again. So Fallen Dungeons, Demon's Wake, Conclave and Ancient's Lament. And Gautman Dungeons, we have Champion's Demise, Mercy's Reach, Shifter Ruins and the Hawthrost Demise. Those are what I'd recommend to you farming to try and get this item. Okay, so next up, guys, we have the rogue only unique items. Okay, so let's get into it, guys. And firstly, guys, we have the Ashira's Kanjar. This has increased drop chances from bandits and cultists. So, bandit dungeons, we have Moorwood, Alder's Cave, Wrath Wind Wilds, and the Morgan Works. These are all great, great dungeons, but if I had to pick one, I'd definitely try and get the Alder's Cave here. Cultist Dungeons, we have Conclave, Serpent's Lair, and the Shadow Plunge. Again, three great, great dungeons. Next up, people, we have the Condemnation. This has increased drop chances from bandits and cultists. Okay, so those bandit dungeons with increased chances. We have Maud, Alder's Cave, the Wraith Wind Wilds, and the Mugen's Works. Cultist Dungeons, we have Conclave, Serpent's Lair, and the Shadow lunge again guys some great great dungeons there with plenty of those enemy types next up people we have the cowl of the nameless this has increased drop chances from cannibals and cultists okay so those cannibal dungeons have the guran slums the earthen wound and the carnal house cultist dungeons i recommend we have conclave serpent's lair and a shadowed plunge Next up guys, we have the Eyes in the Dark Unique. This has increased drop chances from drowned enemy types. Okay, so you want to be farming here the Haunted Refuge, the Dead Man's Dredge, the Putrid Aquifier, and the Vault of the Forsaken. Four great, great dungeons there. All have plenty of that drowned enemy type in them. 
Next up guys, we have the Grasp of the Shadow. This has increased drop chances from Spider enemies. Spider Dungeons, we have the Blind Burrows, the Ghoul Run Canals, the Whispering Pines and the Champion's Demise. All absolutely four incredible dungeons there. If I've had to pick one, it'd definitely be Blind Burrows. But do what you gotta do guys, any one of these, if you get a Nightmare version of, perfect for ya. Next up guys, we have the Sky Hunter. This has increased drop chances from ghosts and vampires. So ghost dungeons, we have the Earth and Wounds, Onyx Horde, Sunken Ruins and the Lost Archives. Vampire dungeons, we have Zenith, Core Dragon Barracks and the Heathen's Keep. Again, great, great dungeons there, so do what you gotta do, people. And lastly today, guys, for the uniques, under Rogue, we have the Wind Force. This has increased drop chances from, again, ghosts and vampires. So ghost dungeons, yet again, Earth and Wounds, Onyx Hold, Sunken Ruins and the Lost Archives, Vampire Dungeons, Zenith, Core Dragon Barracks and the Heathen's Keep. Again, some great, great dungeons there, which would definitely increase your chances of getting this Wind Force to drop. And lastly, guys, we have the unique items for the Barbarian class. Okay, so we're going to start with the 100,000 steps. This has an increased drop chance from that drowned enemy type. So dungeons with that drowned enemy type, I'd recommend the Haunted Refuge, the Dead Man's Dredge, the Putrid Aquifier, and the Vault of the Forsaken. These are four great dungeons that you should be farming if this is a specific item you're looking for. Next up guys, we have the Hell Hammer. Again guys, Drowned Enemy Type. Dungeons, Haunted Refuge, Dead Man's Dredge, Putrid Aquifier, and the Vault of the Forsaken. Great dungeons, which will increase your drop chances, no doubt. Next up guys, we have the Overkill. Again guys, Drowned Enemy Types. So Haunted Refuge again, Dead Man's Dredge, Putrid Aquifier, and the Vault of the Forsaken. These dungeons will give you increased drop chances due to the amount of Drowned Enemies within these. So if you're after any three of these items guys, these are the dungeons you want to be farming because they give you increased chances of all three. So that's absolutely great. Next up guys, we have the Ancient's Oath. This has increased drop chances from Goatmen and Cannibals. So Goatmen dungeons I recommend, we have the Champion's Demise, a great great dungeon, Mercy's Reach, the Shift to Ruins and the Hoarfrost Demise. Four dungeons here guys that will definitely increase your chances. Cannibal dungeons, we have the Gulron Slums, the Earth and Wound and the Carnal House. Three great dungeons, I'm not going to lie, but if I was going to farm for this, I'd definitely go with the Champion's Demise. But you have to be lucky enough to have that Nightmare Sigil for it. Okay, so next up guys, we have the Fields of Crimson. This has increased drop chances from Vampires and Spiders. So dungeons which feature those Vampires, we have Zenith, Core Dragon Barracks and the Heathen's Keep. These are three decent dungeons for this vampire enemy type, but if I was going to farm for this, I'd definitely go with spiders. So we have the Blind Burrows, the Ghoul Run Canals, the Whispering Pines, and the Champion's Demise. All four of these dungeons are amazing for that spider enemy type, so if you can roll that Magic Find modifier on any one of these dungeons, that would be perfect for you. Okay, so next up guys, we have Gore's Devastating Grips. This has an increased drop chance from those spider enemies. Spider dungeons, we have the Blind Burrows, the Ghoul Run Canals, the Whispering Pines, and the Champions Four Incredible Demise. Dungeons for that enemy type. Next up people, we have the Rage of Haragoth. This has increased drop chances from those beast enemy types. So here guys, you want to stick to the Blind Burrows, Alderwood, Moorwood, Alder's Cave or the Haunted Refuge. We have five great dungeons there. Blind Burrows would be my main pick, but any of these would be perfectly fine to farm. Next up guys, we have the Ramaladni's Magnum Opus. This has increased drop chances from those skeleton enemies. So dungeons here I'd recommend, we have Demon's Wake, Zenith, Core Dragon's Barracks and the Forgotten Ruins. My main pick here would be Demon's Wake, but any one of these would be perfectly fine. Again, if you can roll that Magic Find modifier on any of these with a Nightmare Dungeon, that definitely ups your chances. And there we have it guys, pre-season 1. These are all the end game uniques within Diablo 4 and the best places you can farm for them. Guys, if you did enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys, I will see you on that next.
one.